Hey, this is Skype Traffic Bonsai. In this video, I'm going to talk about adapting lenses to your mirrorless camera. In my case, I have the Canon M50 with a Super Tachymar 50mm f1.4 lens and an M42 mount adapter. Thanks to David at CameraCraft for giving me this very nice lens. I did try adapting lenses quite a bit when I was using Pentax DSLRs. The issue, they were APS-C. Now Pentax has very nice viewfinders for their DSLRs, but still wasn't really good for me. I had issues with focusing and just didn't work out too well. But in this case, with the mirrorless cameras, all those nice features to help you focus, help you deal with that older lens and all of the manual functionality to it just is really really works well. I went out to my local forest preserve and used this combination. I do think it worked really well so throughout this video we're going to see some clips and photos from that. When I was at the forest preserve I was taking photos mostly at f1.4. I did go up to 2.8, 5.6 and a little bit at f8 depending on the situation but I really wanted to get the most use out of that large aperture. When adapting lenses to mirrorless cameras, you have a few benefits even over their intended use back in the film days on those cameras. You have a peaking feature, which helps you focus very quickly. You also have zooming in on certain areas of the image so you can get critical focus when you need that. In this case, the M50 has three different colors of peaking and two levels of peaking. One is more extreme than the other, it just adds more color to the photo. I use the high level of peaking with red. So there can be some negatives to adapting lenses to your mirrorless camera. In this case, you won't get EXIF information on the aperture. Generally, it's just slower to take photos, but that could be a benefit. It really depends on how you like to do things. Of course, you have to control the aperture from the lens itself. In this case, I was using mostly full manual mode, but I also experimented with shutter priority and letting the camera control shutter and ISO. Probably the quickest way to adjust settings in this combination is to let the camera control just the ISO. You set the shutter speed to something you know won't blur in the situation and then the camera will handle that ISO. It works relatively well and you can get results that are pretty consistent. Now, in this case, you probably don't want to let the camera control the shutter speed because it might dip below your combination of focal length and all of that. But in full manual mode, it works pretty well. I just control those two settings, the shutter speed and ISO, and then on the lens itself, I control the aperture. Overall, I think it is a great way to take photos. You have some really nice options with film era lenses. Of course, this is all metal. Cleaned it up, it looks great. Very smooth focus ring with a lot of travel, so you can really dial in your focus. This adapter specifically that I have is nice and metal as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.